my RC friend, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to compare two different brands of affordable watercolor set. Who I have today been part of our challenge is Mia Watercolor. You may have seen this around, you may have this your set. Is this super pretty novelty palette? And it come on a set of 36 and I pay around 16 pound. I, I have this for nearly a year, a little bit less than that. And I did struggle to find this in Amazon today. So if I find the link, it will be down in the description box. And the second contestant is Creative Peak. Now I do have their um, sketch pad, watercolor sketch pad, they're really good to be super affordable. So I really wanted to try also their watercolor set. And today we are going to see which one is going to be better. I have a video on both of them and they perform both of them quite nicely to be really affordable, budget-friendly watercolor. But which one is better? So today we are going to do two different painting on my um, sketchbook that is nearly over. So guys, it may be coming soon a sketchbook tour finally. And uh, yeah, we will judge them and see which one is better. Let's start. I decided to start with Mia watercolor. I'm a bit more familiar with it. I have it for longer and I've been doing quite a few painting with it. Uh, what I'm doing today is two different kind of floral uh, so that I stay more or less on the same uh, area, the same subject. So I cannot say that the subject is what make the difference between the two set. And uh, as you see, I start from the background, this uh, brownish, reddish gold background, which I'm totally in love with. And one good thing about this set is the amount of variety of color, because it's a 36 color set, you, you do have quite a bit of choice. And also, as a lot of what I like, it has a lot of greens and different shades of yellow so i can really play along um he has uh, lots of blues as well but blues is not something that i use quite a bit but there are different tones of gray a brown gray a uh, blue gray so you can really play with this set so it's if you've been watching me for a while this is one of my uh, favorite watercolor set i may even buy a more expensive one or different one but i tend to go back to this one there is a good color selection which means that i don't mix a lot and if there is something that I don't really like to do that much is mixing and as you see guys I'm going straight from the uh, color to the paper and I let the color flow and mix on top of the paper so I don't really mix them but if you're into mixing one Mm, not so good thing is about this set is the lid because in the majority of the watercolor set you will lose use the lid as your mixing space this lid you can do that but it's transparent which means you should have like a white paper uh, on the back uh, to allow you to see actually which sort of color you are mixing. Now, it's not a big issue for me. I don't mind do so uh, when I am mixing. Most of the time, I don't even mix with this set, but sometimes I do, and I just put a piece of scrap paper on the back, and I sort my issue. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it spread quite nicely. The colors are quite vibrant. I haven't used anything else than the actual set. 
I do like to do mixed media. I add some color pencil on top, some uh, ink, golden ink. It's always a nice touch. But in this case, I really wanted the uh, set on its own to be the main character and speak for itself without having um, yeah something else making the adjustment. So what you see is just what came out of the set. So I've been playing a lot with... Uh, uh, letting the color spread in this case so um, I, I did define the petals and I'm defining the leaves later on uh, but yeah I do enjoy as you see letting the color uh, play on its own and uh, let it go wherever it wants so i uh, let you finish to watch this and uh, I'll see you for the second contestant of today's challenge And now it's time to start a new painting, this time with the Creative Peak set. This is a set of 24 and it's even cheaper, £12 around, uh, but actually because there are 12 color less, so in the end they compare quite a lot by price. Uh, now, as I said already in the video when I analyze this set, I am not too much into the color selection. What I love a lot about this set is that it comes in a tin and I love metal tin much more than the plastic from the uh, Mia watercolor I don't like. It's a sturdy plastic still I don't like much. I prefer the metal tin tin with watercolor so I do like this tin a lot and also to be so affordable the tin is very sturdy and there is still the empty line in the middle that will allow you to add another 10-11 colors if you want to and that's something that I probably I will be doing because I like to have a lot of color when I choose a tin because as I said I said as I said, I don't like much mixing. And let's go back to the point of the color selection. 24 colors are a lot. But the color that they chose are quite weird, which, as you can see, for me, it means that I have to be mixing all of the time. In this case, it's been very, very rare for me to actually use a color straight straight from the uh, half pan but instead as you can see i had to mix uh, uh, the majority of the time especially for petals and leaves i do have a good section of greens i have four different greens i don't like any of them i find that all of them to be quite bright and instead i personally like as you can see from the mix more uh, muddy dark sort of green so in the end none of the one that they offer works for me and then I have so many uh, teal sort of color that I don't think I need and I didn't really use in this set and I have only one bright yellow so I end up to uh, be using the ochre to uh, and mix the ochre with the yellow to try to uh, cover this lack so I do have a uh, quite a good number of color 24 is a good amount of set but because of the color choice I end up to be mixing a lot which doesn't make this set my absolute favorite now it depends of the color you use and the color you like because maybe you love this color selection and it's exactly what you're looking for but for my personal choice ends up not to be my favorite and also compare it to Mia I find Mia color to be much more 
vibrant despite being the same basically the same price um but yeah this is a really really good set to use in a sketchbook and i will definitely keep using it i will add some more colors in the middle and uh, yeah i had a lot of fun doing this challenge i will show you in just a second a comparison of both final dried artwork time to share with you what the two artwork actually look like right in the end before i do that i would really appreciate if you guys can click the like button and if you haven't already please subscribe it really helps my challenge and it helps tell youtube that you like this kind of content and you want more people to see that now we start with the first painting that is be done with my mia set and this is what we end up with i think that i had to work a little bit longer on the leaves but i sort of ran out of time on the day and then i didn't come back to it but i really like how the background came out and how the flower came out so i'm really really glad so i'll I'll let you be the judge of uh, this painting and this color set and what do you think. Now I'll show you my second set that is a creative pick set. And this is what we came out with. So the color as well are quite nice for the price. They are not chalky at all in both cases. And once again, I really like the fussy background and I really like the color, but yeah, they will have need a bit more work and a bit more definition. And if I decided to do mixed media, I will have added some, definitely some pencil on top of the flowers to add it more uh, spark and as a contour of the leaf. But you guys tell me in the comment which artwork do you prefer and consequently which set do you think is better those are the set we play with today i really love to do these challenges between brands and between sets let me know what should i do next see you next time thank you for watching